Hey everyone, this is Luca and uh, this is the Buster Monkey. It's my first video here and um, thank you for watching first of all. And this is my concept art that I've done today. And before we go into this, I'd like to introduce a bit myself so that you know me a bit better and um, hopefully you like this channel and you keep following me. Well, I'm Luca, I'm, I come from Italy. Uh, in fact, I'm really sorry. I apologize right now if I if I do mistakes in English or whatever. Just try to understand the the, the sense or the meaning of what I'm trying to say. I don't know, uh, or just ask in a comment what if you didn't understand something. I'm I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm a graphic designer. I graduated in 2006, and um, well, I th this channel would be all about art, and I'll try to cover as much as I can in terms of uh, classic art. Uh, um, artist, uh, but of course the main core of all this is concept art, character design, environment design and uh, matte paintings. I try to cover matte painting as well, why not? I started to draw since I remember thanks to my father and um, well I started with comics and of course now I jumped in, into concept art for uh, movies, shorts, uh, video games and uh, all all these kind of things, you know. I don't want to waste too much time on this because I'll do another video for sure, uh, a bit more about myself, saying what I like, what I don't like, uh, what's my favorite artist or stuff like that, if you want if you want to see it. This is, as you can see, let's jump on the drawing that I've done. And uh, I sketched quickly uh, this spaceship. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, honestly, uh, in terms of design. Uh, the only thing that I had in mind was the angle. In fact, I went quite uh, straightforward in terms of perspective and stuff. Of course, I readjusted, or I'm going to readjust uh, just uh, in a second, a bit the perspective. But uh, as you as you seen before, I tried to put legs uh, and stuff, but I see I saw it didn't work. So I, I thought flying was better, a better idea. It's kind of a of an oblivion. Uh, type of uh, spaceship or something like that, you know the movie Oblivion with Tom, Tom Cruise, stuff like that, it, not that design, but you can imagine the the poor guys living in that world, they could have these kind of things, or uh, not Oblivion, but maybe Elysium or whatever. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, here I was painting some canyons, it's a very basic uh, environment that I wanted just to um, help myself about the um, for the reflections on the metal of, of this of this spaceship because what I wanted to suggest here was the metal and the material um, You will see Later on what what we happen here. I'm just masking in a different layer uh, Just the shape of the spaceship the basic shape, but everything because I, I wanted everything in a separate layer and uh, I tried quickly with the lasso everything that helped me to to be quick. I took about like uh, a an hour and a half to do this, I think. Um, a little bit, yeah. Here I start to help myself again for the for the metal, as I said before, because heavy an environment now behind. I, I, I know what's what's up, what's above the, the spaceship and below. And um, for sure it's gonna, I, I like the contrast hot, warm and cold and this is very important to start with even if uh, after you spend a bit of time working on it it's going to change completely but as you can see I, I'm trying to say to define a shape even if, if it's very rough at the moment I'm turning up uh, contrast and uh, trying to understand uh, th this page is going to change many times you, you will see during the video because uh, I was keeping changing my mind on it but I want it to be very very strong in terms of contrast so you you really see what's what's what is facing the floor and what is facing the sky this is the main thing here as well I really like to to work with the uh, with la with the lasso uh, because I, I think it's an extraordinary tool but uh, sometimes it, it doesn't help to get what you want because it, it's too sharp I mean I feel it's too sharp so I always tend to uh, rework a little bit the selection after it uh, let's just <laughs> give a bit of time 
come on Luca, come on, you can do it. Okay, yeah, here I was painting something on the board below. It was kind of like maybe a camera or maybe, maybe this is half cyborg. Maybe he has a brain inside or something. Uh, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to draw the pilot or something or if it's automatic, but okay, here it's important. You can, you can start to see a bit of material on the, on the glass. You can start to, to define the glass. We, I, I will spend a video maybe on the, um, on the materials because uh, that's, that's kind of fundamental to know and to, to keep practicing, which is what I do because you have never have to stop <laughs> practicing, you know. I apologize for some uh, web pages in between the video, but sometimes I was just doing research, sometimes it was Facebook or whatever. But yeah, never been distracted from this stuff, <laughs> I have to say. Okay, I, I knew already that this is a very strong sun. We are maybe, it is gonna be like maybe 50 degrees or something like that. You are in the Grand Canyon or... So it, it has to be very strong, as strong has to be the shadow. So I, I don't like to work with black. I try to avoid uh, pure white and pure black because of course they they don't exist in real life but you will see at the end uh, I wasn't even trying to reach a, a photoreal look uh, I just wanted something um, looking cool of course everyone wants something looking cool when it did, when they do something so uh, that was my main goal but here as you can see I, uh, my main focus at the moment was um, just taking out the shape and uh, redefine stuff, redefine, redefine. And this step is cool because you turn on the music and you just turn off the brain and you just have to rendering, rendering, rendering. Even if you are going to change the design, you, you, are just, you just have to make something that works. That's, that's the main core. Uh, yeah, I think uh, for, for a part of this, uh, um, in terms of looking and feeling, Let's say if you know, if you don't know, you should check uh, uh, a video game called uh, Destiny from Bungie. And uh, the concept arts from uh, that the video game are extremely, extremely uh, spectacular and uh, amazing. And I, I just love them. And if you, if you see the look is not photoreal, you can't say it's photoreal. I mean, not all of them. Some of them are photoreal. But because many artists work and worked and are working on it at the moment, maybe when you're seeing this video, they, they, they finished the game already. But um, some of them, they, they had this kind of look uh, where it's so cool. It's uh, everything works. Uh, you can understand every single part of the spaceship or the characters of the, or the planet or, or whatever. But it's not real. That's very, very, very hard to do. But that was kinda what I was trying to reach here. I will mention uh, something about my brushes here. Oh, I was contrasting here with curves, uh, as you could see, because I wasn't happy with the, with the shadows. I still have my main outline on top of everything. Maybe I believe it was 30% of uh, transparency. This, this game that I do with uh, black and white, uh, creating a, a white uh, layer on top of everything in a color mode, it's because I wanted to understand and to give more depth and uh, putting black and white stuff, uh, it, it really helps a lot. Okay, here I was adding just smokes because I, uh, at some point I, I was thinking maybe he's not going very fast because uh, he could just stand on, the, um, on, that, on that spot in, on the desert. Uh, so he could, he could have... Uh, uh, dust and smoke and uh, whatever all around not just behind or uh, on a side or, the, or a trail that you see where it's coming from yeah I thought it was a good idea just to fit the the frame and the composition here I was just readjusting and uh, adding a bit of dirty <laughs> dirty texture from brushes and uh, and yeah changing the design rechanging the design again adding screws and uh, yeah defining the highlights and stuff and I, I think it's not it's not done yet but almost 
but um, this part is, is qu it, it was quite tricky because I really didn't know what to do more in terms of uh, to make it more interesting so I, I said okay why not why, why we, don't we just add a color or something um, and then I, I noticed that the perspective wasn't that right on, on the um, on the front of it and I changed it a little bit and to give more depth I, I decontrast the, the back of the spaceship because remember everything is super contrast and sharp is something that it's in front of you and uh, as long as we go far from the camera everything becomes desaturated and flat and we never have uh, any more pure colors no pure white no pure black never no pure red no pure blue everything is not gonna be pure and everything is super flat anyway I don't want to be boring on it but just ask me any kind of questions on the comment below if you have any doubt of uh, any doubt for something that I've done in the video because I I can tell it's very quick <laughs> it's very fast but I don't want to it's, it's already 15 minutes I didn't want to make this video longer than that I was keeping out in details and uh, you can see dust uh, and stuff uh, and lines screws I was curing the engine here uh, but you know it was something that what I was planning to cover maybe later and um, so we, we, we don't see very well as you can see here I was changing again the, the front of this ball that I put under the spaceship I don't know yet what I did it <laughs> I tried a few colors blue and then I noticed that blue was maybe too much so uh, I went back to the yellow browny color here I started to put more smoke and something because anyway even if I didn't want completely a super strong direction like uh, wipe out you know the video game um, there, there there had to be something behind you know uh, he here I was keeping any details and warping because just to give a sense of direction um, I'm going very quick because the video is super quick oh my god uh, working on the sky here I tried few different kind of uh, clouds but well, I wasn't that happy, I, I did a few changes then I went for this kind of uh, very normal uh, normal sky, normal clouds. Keeping playing with black and white for give this sense of depth and uh, what's in front of us because I didn't want to put any kind of elements uh, in the foreground. Tweaking a little bit with the color balance and going more into this kind of fantasy world, adding a bit more, a bit of design in the front of it, few lines maybe, I was thinking to put some stickers or something crazy like a fallout uh, but then I, I, I thought that was too much just really finding very quickly and I think we are we are almost done because um, yeah just um, grains and uh, rocks something flying around it okay the video is gone basically and uh, if you like please subscribe I'd be very happy and uh, We'll see you in the next video very soon and I'm sure you'll be happy. Bye!